Interesting moves on that dollar now, Steve. I think really good opportunities, I think, to play for gold in the next coming weeks. Yeah, I agree, Neil. Buying the dip on gold and looking maybe back to those all-time highs. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another of our Traded Talks videos with myself, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech, and also Steve Miley, the market chartist. As ever, you can always go to our website to uh, join up and um, have a demo account with us. And also you can sign up for a live trading account in four easy steps on hmarkets.com. Now, Steve, dollar weakness seems to still be a bit of a trend, but just for today, perhaps maybe a little bit of a near term technical rally. Yeah, so I think, you know, um, looking at, say, the, the dollar index chart, first of all, just, just to set us up for what we're looking at, we've seen this kind of abject dollar weakness re resuming here really since last last week, since the uh, Jackson Hole um, um, Summit Economic Symposium. And we've seen um, that dollar weakness resume very much come to the fore um, as a theme that, you know, we've been focusing on really for the last weeks and even months yeah. in here. And we picked out various trades on that. And we've had the breakdown. So that bigger target for the dollar index is still down at 89.91 area. But we have had it in the last 24, 36 hours, a bit of correction, maybe driven um, in here by by um, the chief economist from the ECB Lane saying that, you know, euro dollar up at these levels is a bit high. Obviously, euro dollar lower has then popped the dollar across the board higher. Um, but for me, what I'm going to focus in on today is um, the Kiwi dollar um, and the strength that we've seen. I think that for me, this is a, you know, of the if you're going to buy something against the dollar with this dollar weakness, this is a great opportunity um, on any dip we see in here. Back to the kind of this breakout level we had at 67.15 on Kiwi dollar. Back to there will be my initial buy zone in here. If it dips anywhere back close to the 66 double O, I think that's a great opportunity. I don't think you're going to get the opportunity really down there. Um, and, you know, being helped higher, really, or the upside threat for Kiwi dollar. Again, Governor Orr from the RBNZ overnight in here saying that, you know, he, he has he's not concerned about Kiwi dollar strength. So all of that for me just points the Kiwi dollar still higher. How do you see it? Yeah, I, I, I think that Kiwi has been a really interesting play, actually. Um, throughout August, it seemed to be time and again, the Kiwi was the big underperformer, certainly against the Aussie, but generally against the Forex majors as a whole. Um, and I seem to think that that might be now turning around. I think that the, the whole underperformance of the Kiwi may be sort of played out because I think the market has sort of got used to the fact that the RBNZ is yeah. sort of looking at negative rates or further dovish policy. And I think that maybe that's now in the price and yeah, yeah. maybe an opportunity for the Kiwi to start to pick up again. Certainly relative to the Aussie, we've started to see that turn around a little bit in the near term. And I think that given the fact that the Kiwi has broken out, this is seemingly quite a strong move. And as you say, 66 big figure is a key level. You've got yep. 67 sort of 15 was a breakout level as well. A nice band of support there. I would yeah, take yeah. that as a near term correction. RSI a little bit stretched, you'd argue, maybe a nice little sure. unwind would give another opportunity to buy that. And I think that this one trending higher on an ongoing basis, we're looking at the sort of 69s area, I think, at the moment, sort yeah, of yeah. early 2019 levels potential, I think, as this uh, dollar continues to weaken, I think, in the coming months. Yeah, well, we went right up to that 67.90 level and held there over the last 12, 24 hours um, and just had a slight dip back from there. And as you say, above there, we're looking at 69.40, 69.80 and then 70 double O targets for me, uh, maybe over the next week or two. Yeah. Um, you're looking at gold, though. Yeah, we, we do talk about gold a fair bit. And I think that's because gold is such a strong trend at the moment and it's still holding on to that trend. It's broken yeah. out again. It had a period of consolidation through August as the um, as the uh, market got a little bit stretched and yeah. obviously pulled back from that 2072 mark all time high. But I yep. think we're now starting to see the basis of support building again. And again, once more, the dollar rally has sort of taken gold a little bit off the off the uh, recent highs and um, yeah. sort of stalled that initial break move. But I think that what we're going to see is continued building of support. 1955 is a good area of support now, I think. Yes. Anything really between 1900, 1926 is a 23.6% FIB level. And that 55 area is a decent buy zone. But I would say that this one's sure. going to be pulling higher, testing that 2015 level and then beyond. 
Yeah, I mean, I'd have to agree in here. We're seeing this, obviously, the dollar downtrend is intact, but we are seeing a correction of that. So, you know, dollar higher in here, gold just dipping back slightly. But you, as you say, into any kind of support zone in there um, is probably going to be, you know, for me, certainly it's a buy opportunity. And, yeah, and I don't see any reason why we can't be back up to 2015. And as you say, back up to the high, you know, this is not in the next few days. We're talking about the next few couple of week or two weeks. So it's more of a swing trade um, and using any kind of short term weakness to buy into as that dollar corrects slightly higher looking to buy the dip in gold yeah i think i just think that generally the correlation between the dollar and gold is pretty strong still i think ongoing yeah. dollar weakness is gold positive i think if you look at the reaction gold got off the back of jackson hole yeah. was that um we're going to see inflation we're going to see negative real yields and i think that all bodes well for gold in the medium to long term pulling gold higher and um, weakness is a chance to chance to buy that gold price i think anything underneath 1900 bucks i think would now be disappointing but yes. i don't really see it going that low i think we've still got the good uptrend in place and i think that it's just a correction within the uptrend and there's an opportunity in this one now agreed agreed well great to speak to you again richard thanks all steve well uh, good talking to you and we'll speak to you again next time for more trader talks trading ideas thank you